Welcome back, your beauties. Not that you needed another reason to stick around, but in just a moment, another performance coming from the amazing Tondo Choir. They are sounding phenomenal. You guys want to stick around for that. But right now, we're going to go back in time and relive an incredible moment from reviewing the fashion on the red carpet to Kutle being lucky enough to actually attend, and she looked absolutely gorgeous. This past weekend, we, of course, crowned our 65th Miss South Africa, Natasha Yobear, and she is Amazing and Kutle was there to get all of the action as it happened and also bring us a little bit more from behind the scenes. Take a look. A night of this magnitude can be extremely stressful because a lot of work goes into the prep before walking and performing on this big stage. So follow me to meet up with some of the finalists to find out how they are feeling, but most importantly, what they are doing to remain calm. How are you feeling at this moment? Um, I'm a little bit nervous. This is my first time doing all of this and I know that we've rehearsed, but you know, it's not the same. A lot is at stake. Mm. But if you're not nervous, then you don't really want it. Melissa. Hello, Kutle. The time has finally come. How are you feeling? First of all, you're catching me with one eyebrow on. <laughs> Kutle, come on. <laughs> um, so we've just finished rehearsals. I'm super excited. I'm just glad that I haven't fallen on stage yet. So things are looking good. <laughs> How has the involvement of Woolworths leading up to the finale been impactful for you? I think we need support so much as the ladies you know, on such a big platform because people's biggest question is, do you need any financial assistance to enter Miss South Africa? Because there's so many costs involved and Woolworths coming on as a sponsor it has helped us so much in that aspect let me go get an eyebrow yes please cool. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> natasha it's just a few moments before you walk the big stage talk to us about what's going through your mind your heart your entire body yes i'm really trying to to keep myself calm cool and collected because when you're on the stage even if it's two and a half hours it goes by like this so i just want to be present and enjoy what would you say is your biggest lesson that you will be taking away from this opportunity? Yo, franchises! <laughs> that was challenging and hard. That's something that wasn't there back in 2020. And I must say, like, every single week when we had the challenge, it was kind of just challenging yourself at a different dimension. How would you say the involvement from Woolies in this journey leading up to the finale has impacted you? Yeah, so self-care, self-love, we need that body care. I love the Magnolia range, I love the Simply Floral Rose range. Whenever I want to deep breathe, I just take a bath, put some salts in there, some bubble bath and just take me time. And I think that's so important to us for Woolies just actually making that happen for us. They're like, here's some products, actually use it. Ladies and gentlemen, the time has finally arrived and I am standing here next to the Woolworths Beauty Fragrance Card. Listen, they've got everything for everyone, whatever you want, they probably have it here. I feel good, I look good, and because of W Beauty Fragrances, I smell good. <laughs> Matt, the night has finally arrived. You are looking absolutely beautiful. And we are standing by the W Beauty fragrances. How are you feeling about tonight? I'm excited about seeing people really coming out. I mean, post-COVID, we haven't really had time to see people properly. And for, you know, South Africans to be part of this evening and us as Woolworths being here as a Woolworths brand is a proud South African brand. It really, really is exciting. I'm so excited to be here. I know that this is going to be a very difficult question to answer, but I have to ask anyways, which W Beauty fragrance is your favorite? It is a difficult one, but I'll go with Distraction After Midnight. It is divine. So the notes are very much florally. It's so light on my skin. I never have to worry about rashes. This is the ultimate when it comes to fragrances. Stephanie, the night has finally arrived. How are you feeling about Miss South Africa this year? I am so excited. I mean, not only have we seen these incredible rule changes this year, you know, you're looking at now married women, women with children, women who are even pregnant to enter this competition, as well as changing the age limit, you know, upping it all the way to 30. And I think it's now about how we keep evolving and ultimately make sure that Miss South Africa is a beacon of hope to every young person in this country. 
I love the fact that they're getting so many women involved, so many different cultures involved, and I think the ladies that we have tonight on stage, each and every one brings a different kind of vibe to the, the competition, so that's my stance on it. I think we are at a point right now where women are so powerful. I was having a conversation with other ladies and one of those conversations was, I hope the ladies are aware of how equipped they are in this era. But you gotta find your power, you gotta find your space to take up your space. Miss South Africa 2022, first run up, Ayanda Tabete had to come through to the W Beauty fragrance cart. Ayanda looking absolutely regal. Talk to us about some of your favorite fragrances. I love to smell like flowers. I believe I am a colorful person. My favorite range is their Simply Floral range, and I love smelling like roses, which is actually my grandmother's name. So that makes it even more special. Oh. It smells so familiar. I love it so much. Miss South Africa 2022, the Queen, Davino Keri. Now you have had a wonderful relationship with Woolies the past year. Talk to us about that journey. I've absolutely loved my partnership with W Beauty. We've mainly worked with skincare. As you can see, your girl is glowing. glowing. They're clearly doing something right. And today, very happy to be here, having them. It smells amazing over here. Woolworths are an incredible partner to us, from fashion to homeware to, to food to beauty. What an incredible partnership to have had for the last five years. We are so looking forward to many, many more together. And that's exactly what it's all about. Women supporting women, men supporting women and brands supporting women. What an incredible evening crowning our new Miss South Africa 2023. It's absolutely inspiring seeing women of all different backgrounds being transformed into the queens that we know and love them to be. The glitz and glam, and I've got to say, Kutle, you fit right in, girl. I know we keep kind of joking about it, but maybe you might want to think about entering at some point. But we loved reliving those moments. It looks like we missed out on an amazing moment, yes, in the life of Natasha Joubert, but just so much fun and the sisterhood, brilliant. But Natasha has won out. She is our Miss SA for 2023. So good to see that this platform is still about empowerment, about giving South African women the opportunity to do something special. And the fact that we've got the support structure for young leaders coming through, mentorship in that space. Ultimately, this is a platform for empowerment. And Natasha Joubert has that spot for the next year. We are so proud.